Hello everyone. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, hope you're all well. Um, I imagine most people in the US at least are gobbling down turkeys. Um, but uh, if you're not, or if you finish that, then welcome along. Um, or if you're anywhere else that isn't the US. <laughs> Um, and not turkey gobbling, uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So a uh, um, a US Thanksgiving edition of Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, which fortuitously has turkeys in it. So I'll be sure to kill a few for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, how y'all doing? Uh, I am basically ready to go here. Um, and we are oops, going to be heading off this time into the frozen wilds uh, because I think I've done everything that uh, uh, I, I had an immediate urge to do uh, last time, like all the all the major main uh, major side quests. Um, so uh, I think it's time we got stuck into the frozen wilds here since we're. Uh, Kind of avoiding the main line for a bit. Um, oh, is it Thursday? I thought it was the twenty third. Um, I got that all. I got that wrong all my life. Um, well, yeah. Well, I'm sure. Like, uh, like I said, leftovers. Leftovers are going to be a thing for the next three weeks, probably, and or at least until Christmas, where you may or may not have turkey again. Um, right. Okay. Always on a Thursday, huh? Huh. Okay. I learn something every day. <laughs> and uh, apologies for getting the day wrong. <laughs> um, uh, but like I said, it's all probably going to blur into a... Uh, um, what's the chemical that's in Turkey's tri tryptophan or something? Like a tryptophan-induced haze that gives you a, a meat coma. Or whatever it is um but yeah that for later um i don't know if there are any turkeys even around here there's one up there uh there is a goose that's close enough there we go <laughs> i mean okay goose isn't turkey but um, but, uh, yeah. But anyway, yes, hello, um, sorry, Belloc, yes, sorry, hello. Um, in between all the turkey, turkey talk, I did not, uh, say hello and welcome you along. Um, which was rude of me, I'm sorry. Saving these for the trail. Uh, right. Uh, stock up on heels before we go anywhere. And, uh... We can actually find the turkey. Uh, you're a turkey. Let's see if we can nail one in the name of uh, some Thanksgivings. Uh, yes, there we go. Uh, got one. Can't do anything with it, unfortunately. But uh, but there we go. Apart from kill it and strip it of all its component parts. Which is probably a lot easier in this game than in real life. I mean, honestly, I wonder how some people can even fit turkeys in their ovens. Good for an old remedy. I guess the solution is smaller turkey or bigger oven. <laughs> um, right. Ah. So, what is on the list? Well, let's go here. Can we get to that? Uh, where is that? Is that inside the uh, thing there? I don't know. I should be able to get to that, I think. Let's get to this while we're here, and then we'll um, we'll dig into the frozen wilds. We'll just fast travel up there. So, uh, yeah, I, I've basically been doing the main quest for a while. Um, and uh, I'm just now having a break from all of that because I do want to get the DLC and side stuff done as well 
so uh, there shouldn't be any big spoilers uh, if you're not familiar with the whole story so it's a good time to watch basically yeah I imagine it's a bit of a bit of a palaver to get it done can I get through here uh, squeezing through Eh, uh, hmm, not sure. Uh, I think I have to go back down. Ooh, there's a big spire. Hmm. Actually, that's a really good photo opportunity there, isn't it? Should I go right to the edge? Uh, right. This is the other thing I like doing in this game. Um, photo ops. Because it's hard to get that wall in there. Could enhance the field of view a bit, but then that makes things a bit weird. Yeah, I'd imagine you need a fairly big grill for that. <laughs> um... Let's actually go back a bit then. Is that any better? Mm. Uh, this is one of the things I love about this game, just the, the photo mode. Mm. Yeah, that's not satisfying, is it? I've got to get onto this thing at least. Let's get onto that big bit. And let's just see what we can what we can work out. Um, now I'm too right. Uh, yeah, it's a bit, bit tricky in it. Guess I'll just have to do something like this. And then, whoops, and then we can change the pose. The old, the classic boundless one. Um, now if I get that looking down, that might be good. And then we can go, yeah. There you go. Okay, uh, that guy might be somebody I want to try and kill, um, but we'll see. He's going to be tough. Uh, he's also going to be seeing me. No? Yes? No? thing um, that. over here I think we're over here so we want to look for a weird patch of flowers um, like that <laughs> and that is what we are looking for metal flower the old ones didn't leave these they're new growth and they're all full of poems. When dawn henna's her hands with the blood of the horizon, let the new bride of the golden veil uncover her shining face. I don't know if they're actually real poems or not, but um, but there you go. Right, mission accomplished there. Uh, let's go. I would actually like to go here. Uh, and actually enter the frozen wilds on foot. Uh, I've been there before once, um, and uh, sort of just basically saw the first cinematic thing that they had there, and didn't really go any further than that. So, um, 
but this time they're going to go into it proper and um, see what's there, do quests, etc. Apparently it's quite a bit harder than uh, the main game. Because they have uh, machines that are even more dangerous than corrupted ones. And a whole bunch of new machine types that I've never even seen before, so... Fortunately, I am armoured to the gills. Uh, so we'll, we should be able to do things. Okay, so this is the way in. Right. Um, yeah, don't mind that big thing there. <laughs> So, that just goes dead endy there. So it's quite cute because they they basically tuck this behind the uh, the main area of the game. Um, and it's quite seamlessly done. Um, yep. um, there we go. Landed awkwardly on that bit. Over here. Yep. Just basically, with Aloy, you just have to go where she takes you when it comes to climbing things. Um, now what? Uh, over here. Slow-mo! Yoink. I love those slow-mo jumps. Do and drop. I remember it being quite this intricate before. <laughs> Where's it go? Uh, yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go. So what's this then? What was over here? Uh, not where I came up. Uh, well, this seems to be the way I need to go. Bit of a trek to get there. Stocking up. But that's good. You basically have to follow these little handholds that uh, you can tell by the weird white rim to them or yellow rim. Should have brought a cart. Okay. There's a beastie here. Oh, he's damaged. So this guy is one of the demonic things. They are bad. You'll notice he is quite tough. Also, yeah, look, I'm leaving a little trail in the ice. Um, so how shall we deal with this guy? So he has a, a track. Here. But I think I want to try and deal with him. There's like a. I'm trying to figure out what animal he is. I think he's like a. a lynx or something? He's definitely a sort of cat like thing, I think. But. given the ears. Could be some kind of jackal kind of thing, but 
links would seem a little bit more um, a little bit more sort of appropriate. Um, all right, let's get some of that. Oop. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I may actually get completely sorted by this thing. Um, we'll have to see. Again. Boom. Did that have any effect on you whatsoever? <laughs> Nothing got your attention. Uh, he's definitely angry. <laughs> Boom! Uh, got you there. Daybreak. Yesterday's gone. He's a bit mad. Strong against pretty much everything except freezing. Wow. Interesting. Definitely mad. All good. I don't really seem to dent it much. Um, huh. Freezing then, huh? The only thing I have that actually does freezing damage is this this thing it's good against everything else let's um, grab that and uh, put that actually across this path shall we um, and then let's dive into there and then if we get the hmm we get the rope caster actually you know what this does quite a bit of freezing damage isn't it hmm Maybe I should try that there. Um, and put that there. Um, can I actually make more bombs? I can. Can't make any more of them. Can't make any more of them. So if I go for the freeze, when he's stunned a bit by that, he's a bit confused. This and that right out of the way. Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, the trick there was just freeze his nuts off basically and then bomb him, which will uh, 
be a bit um, more damaging to him. So, onwards ho. Actually, the rattler proved itself quite uh, quite handy in that regard. I don't usually use that one. I think what I really should invest in is one of those other uh, elemental slings. I don't think I have that. You're welcome, Core. Hi. Uh, I think the entire world knows I'm coming, thank you. They sound kind of cool, though. It's like a didgeridoo. So yeah, the Banu live up here, and they got this thing for these luminous coils. It's probably just cables or something, but... Howdy! Chosen a poor time to visit the cut, Outlander. Well, welcome to you too. I don't know if I'm going to get treated to the cutscene again here, but... Uh... Then great. If not, we we'll carry on. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Doesn't look like it. So yeah, this is the Frozen Wilds. Um, we've got a uh, great big rumbly volcano over there, um, which is interesting because I don't know. Uh, basically, according to the geography of this. Um, this should be, like, this is Colorado, or what was Colorado. So, slight spoilers, it's been the end of the world, and um, we're in what used to be the US. Uh, this used to be Colorado, and this is to the north of it, and I think to the north of Colorado is Wyoming. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure there aren't any volcanoes in Wyoming, but who knows. Um... So, uh, there's some kind of thing over there uh, I'm looking at. Some looks like an airplane or something. Um, got a massive volcano over there. And then a whole bunch of other things going on. So, let's see if we can find some people. A dangerous land to visit, Outlander. Oh, thank you. I admire your courage. Good, hello. So... Machines in the South suffer their own sort of corruption. I wonder what sort of challenge they present. Less of one... Um, less of the sort that you have up here, apparently. Uh, right, uh, so let's... For a start... Um, then we'll do that. Uh, I suppose we want to do this. But uh, we'll see what's going on up here. So we've already got a quest, which is basically go and see some shaman or something. Good news is that bandits tend to live brief lives. Uh, so these are basically shamanistic. Um, I suppose they're kind of based on Inuits and stuff like that, maybe. Um, no wonder the cards are so delicate. Some say Sakuli paints prophecies, others say memories. It's all too heady for me. But yeah, they're, they're sort of shamanistic, primitive, um, not very, as in not very technological, um, unlike some of the other tribes. None of the southern tribes rival the Banukas hunters. Um, and yeah, I suppose they're nomadic as well, possibly. Don't concern you, Outlander. Uh, also, uh, 
A bit of an angry bunch by the sound of it. Are so eager to prove their worth, but the only skill they seem to have is showing off. Uh, right, so we can apparently get some new stuff up here. Plans. They should exercise some caution. Uh, hello. Good day, sir. Oh. The heck. What is all this? Uh, Banute Champion Bow. Ah. We need a thing called Blue Gleam. That's something new. Banute Power Shot Bow. So that's a War Bow. That's a Shark Shot Bow. That's a Hunter Bow. Interesting. They're just basically souped up. But we need this Blue Gleam. Blue Gleam stuff. So what we got? Uh, ugh. Survivalist gear provides slow health recovery over time. Oh my. And this needs blue gleam. That's really good anti-freeze. Um, that's a uh, even more souped up cargo blazon. That's anti-fire. Uh, ooh, and that's uh, Ninja and Aloy, apparently. <laughs> well, that's weird. I, I suppose maybe the Silent Master has... Um, well, the Silent Hunter has two modification slots. Um, let's see, where is it? Oh, it's got two. Okay. So that one's better because it's got um, another slot. Cool. And then what have we got here? Uh, just the usual stuff here. Uh, usual stuff here. Um, usual stuff here. So we got uh, better weapons there. Um, ooh, blue gleam maps. Uh, well. A goat skin. And a badger bone. Oh, they got different animals up here as well. Uh -huh. Interesting. Uh, well, you uh, can't actually sell me anything, uh, so that's great. Um, pigment collector. And hunting goods. Uh, before I just follow the path around here, I will get to them. I've never traveled further south than the Grave Lord. In the old days, the Mad Sun King made doing so impossible. Uh, no, sorry. Don't yeah, up. The Mad Sun King's cruelty survives. Up here and turn left, actually. That's what I need to do. Uh, there's somebody over here or something? The way over here, no. Uh, other left, apparently. Let's just mark him and just go there, shall we? <laughs> Map is a bit confusing. Uh, Alien, um, yes, it is the Frozen Wilds. Um, and we're, we're just in the starting bit, like, so it's where I was last time uh, I came up here. It was while I was around the Grave Horde. Um, but um, just got a bit further in, in a little bit and uh, finding merchants. Uh, I shall raise your stuffs. Um, blip. And have you got anything interesting? Right. Uh, so, Shadow Sling is kind of what I want. Um, I will buy you. Um, I will not equip you though. I will buy you. So I've now got all the purple weapons. Um, is there a... There's still no... There's a, Apparently there's somewhere around here that has an upgraded uh, spear. 
that I can actually modify. Um, but I don't know where they are. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, see if I can get rid of a bunch of stuff. Got scrapper lenses. Don't need them anymore. Uh, don't need you anymore. Pretty sure I don't need quite that many of these anymore. Um, yes, it is cool, literally. Um, uh, it would not surprise me if it was the, the uh, result of a big quest line. Um, Okay, we might as well get rid of all that crud. Uh, right, so the Shadow Sling uh, is apparently uh, a bomb lobbing thing that is uh, elemental as well. So instead of just lobbing uh, explosive things, it lobs um, shock, etc. Um, freeze and burn. So that could be handy. Uh, what I want to do though is modify that. Uh, let's see what uh, what we can add. So we've got handling. I mean, we might as well just add add this stuff, right? Whatever the best fire thing is. Uh, I would go for that because that's got better handling, I think. Um, and then we've got freeze, 27% more freeze, 7% more damage. That might generally be nice. Um, so you add another one though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll do the freeze there. And then we've got some shock. Two percent shock. I guess none of these have got interesting things. Um, so let's do that. So we beefed that up basically. Um, can we do anything with this? We've got just damage, damage, damage. That seems like a good fit for that. Um, do do. -do. A bit more damage with that. There we go. Get you a blue on there. Um, that's got a blue damage on it already. All right. Uh, so, um, oh, I suppose we'll uh, also um, that. something else over here uh, get the war bow back there right okay uh, there's a quest over here there's a strange beauty in the frozen tall neck the frost figures it's frozen tall neck well, that'll be interesting to see right seems sad stranger I heard you mention a flood yes a sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lalai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, till it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. Huh. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. 
a wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now, but our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it, or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering? Hmm. I wonder what that could be. I'm gonna assume that she's like assumed that it was a place made by the old ones to broadcast music far and wide and maybe in reality it's actually kind of a waterworks or something with lots of pipes maybe but I don't know um, unless there's some kind of thing in Wyoming that has that <laughs> so the waters came fast one day it was dry the next the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded I don't understand it there was no rain not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. Huh, sounds like some kind of glacial flood or something. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The flood waters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Water lapping on old stone. Oh, uh, something. That's something nearby, eh? Uh, go to the lake. So where is the lake? The lake is over here. There's a frozen tall neck apparently there. Um, and there's a quest over here. Let's pick up some of these and that will help us explore a bit, won't it? Um, are you over there? You are. Um, right, let's get a. No one hunts like the Banuk, but I've heard the Nora can handle their bows. Oh, well, we're fairly good with them. Uh, alright, let's get the campfire. Um, Does it seem like we have time to. One day, I want to learn more about how this demon affects the machines. I've got to find Araya. I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Let's sneak down here. Um, and what's that thing? Easier when I was a kid. Oh, there's a goat somewhere. Um, okay, wait. Ah, trees. Uh, oh, you're a little building. Uh, right. Sorry. Uh, the, where are you? Can I grab you? Midget. Uh, over there? Well, okay. You're a pretty fast runner. Alright. Uh, yeah, so there's goats and badgers here, apparently. And now I've got lost. Ah, uh, where am I going? All right, hello. Wait, wait a moment. Yes. Uh, wow, that's impressive headgear. <laughs> that weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. You're not the first to take an interest in it. I've made it myself. Your own design. And yet you are not a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified. Ooh. Help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Here we go. One spear modification box. Yeah. Um, okay. And then Oh yeah, there was that thing as well. I didn't do that, did I? Um I'll do that later on. But right. Well, this one seemed intriguing. So let's 
stick with that for now, but uh, noted. Oh, they've got like sulfur lakes and things. Can I make it all red? No, 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 this color's all wrong. No. Neat. That's kind of cool. Machines in the south suffer their own sort of corruption. Uh, okay. So we're heading over. No, well, no. Uh, guess we're heading over there then. I mean, if we, it's on the way to the lake. Let's, let's do that. Whatever's happening. In Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. We're keeping together this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watching. Hmm. Let's enjoy the countryside here. What have we got. Different colored flowers. There were some maps I could have got as well. Um, Blue Gleam seems to be a new resource around here. Um, we get it from quests as well. The Outlanders. Crazy Roger. Outlanders. Yeah. So, yeah, speaking of the Ozoram, uh, so what I have gleaned as well here is that, um, so like this is Nora Land over here, which is basically Colorado. This is Karja territory, which is basically um, Utah. Um, and wherever Monument Valley is, Arizona. Um, and then up here, uh, and I think there may actually be a remnant of a, uh, um, a gate or something, but up here was supposed to be the Ozoram land, um, which is the claim, and that's where, um, Mainspring is. But apparently, uh, there was going to be a quest to go up there and stuff, but they, I don't know if they didn't have time to add all that stuff into the game, or, or they just thought it wasn't worth it or something. But, um, but yeah, it's all up here. So that's, up here is where the claim is. And then, as we have discovered uh, from the last sesh, there are a couple more tribes. There's the uh, Utaru, which are over this way, basically, like east of the Nora and they all we know about them is that they're agricultural and they're in the Great Plains basically um, and then down here uh, below to the south here is where the I can remember their names Tanakh live and they're the um, cannibalistic or at least blood drinking um, reaver types that we've only seen one example of and we dealt with her last time so that's the geography so there, there, there isn't just the three tribes plus well and the Banur up here obviously um, but there's also uh, a couple more as well uh, which is pretty neat I, did, I like the you know I was thinking about the world building of all this and stuff and it's just like it's almost like just you know we need a, a few groups let's give them all a shtick like nature loving um i don't know what the nora are actually like, i was trying to figure that out they're they're matriarchal um nature worshippers i guess um anti-technological by the looks of it they're a bit of a, a weird um group um the Ozoram are obviously the Delvers and the Tinkers, but they they kind of see the Old One's resources as, or the Old One's stuff as actually just resources. Yeah, you know, they don't really understand all the Old World stuff. They just go, oh, it's just metal and we can use it to do our own thing with it. Um, which is, you know, can be pretty cool, like that cannon last time, but uh, they're not like... Um, you know, Silence here and uh, Aloy who are trying to actually understand it. 
but they're like you know they're the, obviously the tinkers and the the mechanicals minded lot and then you've got the Kaja who are the um as far as I can tell like a religious monarchy um kind of like the you know Mesoamerican cultures you know like that Incas Mayas a bit like that uh certainly they were when the uh the, the mad sun king was around um but uh now they've calmed down a bit, but they they, they have that vibe to them, I think. Um, and then, yeah, you've got the uh, Banor, who are the shamanistic, spiritual types, I guess. Um, adapted to snow living. Um, and then you have the uh, Utaru and the Tanak. But it's like they've got their own little niches. They've all got their niches. Um, and it's... I think that's a pretty neat way to. I'll find a use for you. Make a world, you know, or make a a, a bunch of societies. Ooh, control tower. The buggery is that. Uh. I have no idea what this is. Whatever it is, it's sending out pulses. So yeah, there's going to be um, a fair amount of exploring. Oh, that does kill you. What the blue buggery is that? The tower is some kind of transmitter. What's it transmitting? Wow. What do I do with that? It repairs and provides shock resistance to hostile machines, stuns overridden machines. Ew. There's a demonic long leg. Um. I'm not actually moving the controller, but it actually is tracking it. Um, well it's not, yeah, see, like, I'm not moving the controller here. So, uh, all this time I didn't realise that, uh, that that worked. Um, also, why is that showing? Um, wait, blah. Well, uh, let's... let's see what we can do with this, shall we? Um, I think I actually want my, uh, other bow. Um, where is it? There. Um, I want you there. And I want you there. Okay. to do uh, and that uh, ow oh there's two of them that's interesting <laughs> oh there's a lot of things here <laughs> uh, um let's uh, run around a lot um 
that, and uh, do that, and that, do that. That must be my two cards. Out. That. Out. Jesus. This is not good. Things are tough. <laughs> and things are tough. Uh, okay. Let's try discretion. <laughs> uh, hidey place, hidey place, hidey place. We need a hidey place. Where is there a hidey place? Uh, I think I outrun them. Okay, wait a minute. I need to reconsider this. What did it take to knock one of those over? They're built to last. Oh, hang on. Uh, there's all sorts of things. What's going on here? Where's the tall neck? Even these guys are tough. Alright, hang on. So let's reconsider our strategy here, because this is clearly a whole new level of insane. Um, yeah, these guys are nuts. them. Can't craft any more of them. I'm going to have to use my uh, rope casters here. Uh, what is that doing though? You're scanning for me. Uh, hi. Are you the guy I'm supposed to look for? Oh, I am. There we go. Hi. Meltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She Which seeks guidance where? from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Hmm. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, are they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Huh. So... Well... Hades is presumably doing all the corrupting, right? Um, down south. So is there another um, entity? I'll say entity there just to avoid spoiling everything too much. But um, yeah, is there another another person up here doing the same? Went. You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. You want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Right. 
Okay. That is a little more um, useful then. So... Are you... You're overridden, right? Okay. Can I get to that thing? Maybe if I stealth my way there. Maybe I can override it and that might... I can kill the machines. But what about the tower? I might be able to destroy it. Or override it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Snow Angel, that's a new one. like that pose um, but yeah I really like how the snowflakes are all actually here as well you know they're, they're, a, they're a 3d thing um, right how about oops let's uh, maybe do that I don't want to block the, the the thingy off the, the long leg how about we do that? Okay, can you turn around? Jim. This one, I wonder. Just pushing. Nah. Done. Okay, I think I got him. Oh, you got him, 
Right, one less thing to worry about. So they can actually get killed quite easily. Over here. Come on over. Let's see if we can kill you. Fight or run. Go back to plan A. Try and sneak up to it. So tough. That is insane. Um, uh, ow. Okay, you are tough as nails. Mate. What am I doing on you? There we go. Good God. That was nuts. Um, they were just a long leg. Okay. I'm gonna run the half a mile away. Uh, I think there might be only one long leg left. Certainly been an exciting adventure in uh, new machines and things. Oh, might have actually got me. does Okay, that's good. Um, 
where's what's his nuts? Now took. So yeah, about this Uria person who I'm supposed to find, who presumably knows something about the demon. These. Let's talk about Aurea. Yes, let's. Would appreciate that since I've just solved your problem for you. Hello. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine. A great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Hmm. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Hmm. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. Huh. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Aurea at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. Sure. Alright, well now we've right. shut. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find us. Shut that thing up. Path. Right, so now we've uh, silenced the uh, um, the thing. Um, let us continue. Uh, should also get some. Uh, Animals we've we got around here. Got a goat. Goat who is uh, basically this area's equivalent of the boar, I believe. <laughs> Meh. Right. Got your shaggy. Goat bone, excellent. That's probably something important. And then we got badgers as well. Cue the whole badgers. We don't need no stinking badgers and squirrels. Oh, they must be the rats of the uh, the new world. Roll down. Where we meet. No. And then over here we got a badger. Um, which is interesting, um, because damn it, 
Oh, there is. Five. Ah. There we go. Like you're not a uh, not the sort of badger that I am familiar with, uh, are you? Yeah, I suppose you're some kind of North American species. They look a bit different to the, the British badgers. But cool, okay, well I've just got one of each of them, so that's nice. Um, now... Save these for the trail. So, I mean, we could just get the whole thing revealed here. Um, I mean, it seems a bit, a bit cheeky, but uh, maybe I'll just have a look and see what is actually here. Lots of demonic things. System dormant, critical components removed, replace to restore system integrity. There's a glint hawk. Uh, apparently the sun was trying to rise, there we go. Uh huh. Lots of scavenging. What the hell is that? Is that good hawk? Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay. I see it. So, like, is there a frozen tall neck in there? And that? Like, yes, there is. There's the neck. And, and the glint hawk's on the head. But you're a normal one. You're a demonic one, though. fine. Everything is quite alright. I'm feeling a little out in the open here. <laughs> Silence. We shall not pass. Oh, look at the footprints in the snow. That's pretty cool. Um, hey, buddy. Gooey. I'm reassured that I can stab you lot to death at least. Can't override you though. But, stab. I like the sidestep grab and then turn around and stab thing. That's quite neat. Uh, right. Uh, I thought there was another scrapper somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Dead friend. Stab. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> it's 
so I think your normal glint orbs by the looks of it. Perhaps my focus can help me. if we override you. Go get your uh, pal over there. Ah. Aerial combat going on now. Maybe I did stab. Ah. Ow, I did uh, stab you a little bit there, unfortunately. Angry Watcher. bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get at what's inside its head. Okay. We'll find all these bits. But that's maybe a uh, big quest line, I don't know. Um, that's the Shaman's Path. Uh, and all of that. There's a lake there. Um, fine, let's go and do this. Oh, dead boar. Good. I'll take it. Um, can we get up here? Uh, there's owls. That's interesting. Wow. Um, well. You're a bit bugger, didn't you?
Hmm. Can't jump on your neck or anything. Hmm. Glintorps. Okay. I can't feel my. I can't feel much of anything in this. <laughs> um. So, hang on. Uh, I'm feeling a bit sorry for Aloy here. Uh. Could, uh, kick her out in that, maybe. Uh, right, so we got freeze, right? Um, I mean, resist range and melee is always good. Dress for the occasion a little more. Um, right. Let's go over here. Oops. That. And sneak out. Uh, of course, there's scrappers. Right. They're okay. I can deal with those. some antifreeze. Stab. I think there are actually owls in this though, right? You can actually see them somewhere in the trees. It would be neat. There's a bird, that might be an owl. over there. It's got you know accumulating an entire pile of your dead friends there. But you have no idea. They just wandered off. Ah. 
really doesn't want to come over, does he? Kind of snaps out of it. Let me get your attention another way then. Array. Got one bit. I guess the weather here is just snow and snow and snow. Uh, still. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, not sure why there's an animation for it, but sure. <laughs> I could do the snowfall one. Oh, there appears to be some snow falling. Um, Also, new music up here as well. Uh, right. So, am I going to? Oops, somebody spotted me. Am I going to out um, do all of this tonic thing? Snow drifts. Get the whole collection, shall we? I don't know, because I'm kind of also tempted to just explore a bit more naturally, at, at least for the start here. So, I can always do this later on. Um, let's mark you then. Let's see if we can head to the... Scrabbling um, a bit. Thing. Oh, we have a scorcher. Uh, I'm going to hide somewhere. Uh, you're a bit tough. So I gotta go around the tall neck basically. Okay. Oops, ah. I was gonna find a way over there, but there is a way over here. Uh, so apparently, as the um, 
graphics in this are a bit better than the base game as well, like the cutscenes and so on. Which would make sense since they're uh, you know, made a bit later. Red light. <laughs> okay. Hype. <laughs> yeah, I think you're just normal. Oh, I'm quiet. Normal charges, but. Maybe like enhanced or something? Scanning? Suddenly, it's like I'm a beginner again. <laughs> um, okay, we're at the lake, apparently. Uh, let's get the bits from here. Back to your business. This campfire. Uh, up here, apparently. There we go. Okay. We have campfire. Where is the lake? The lake is over there. Three. Okay, lots of animals. Need them soon enough. Sooner than I think, probably. Demonic snap more. Oh, that's awesome. That's um, a dam, isn't it? Are there vantage points up here? Because I'd be really curious as to what this is. Um, isn't this a dam? Well, I guess we never know what that sign said. But um, yeah. Huh.
definitely a uh, artificial structure. So was it a dam that failed somehow, or? Does look like one, doesn't it? Let's not disturb the uh, nice snap moors. Because of course we've got to go to the middle of the lake. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Uh, anyone know what uh, actual real world mountains those might be? Uh, you are uh, one of those merchant types. Uh, who sells the ridiculous stuff? Um, yeah, hang on. I got uh, this Warak runner thing. Might as well get it. Does slow health recovery over time. Okay. Uh, how much wire do I have? How much blaze do I have? I need more blaze. Fifty. That'll do. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, mate. I need to buy some more, uh, wire from you. Like, lots of wire. And then I can replenish my stuff. So yeah, huh, um, okay. So presumably there's a ruin around. This must be the ruin Laolai was talking about. Deep in. Flooded too, like she said. Like as in a buried ruin, not a ruined dam. Um, Snap moss. Probably came from somewhere up river. Follow the river, find its source. I suppose that makes sense, yeah. I mean, if we want to find uh, where where things are. Um, I'm going to experiment here. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> That's amazing. Um, okay. Well, that's about the only uh, do the pure. <laughs> pure expression. Um, and so that's kind of amazing that she actually makes the uh, you know, the animation is to actually make the snow angel in the snow. So, um, how many have we got? We have three at least. Um, but I don't have to engage them. So, I'm not going to because they're going to be a bit scary. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi. Oh shit. Shit. <laughs> um. Oh dear. Ah, crap. Uh, blundered into you. Oh dear. Ah. <laughs> oh. 
corner and there they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> totally meant to do that. I feel so like <laughs> outclassed up here. Uh, totally revised my uh, tactics I fear. That said my armor is actually um, good against um, freeze so that's good uh who are you Fanuk wanderer uh follow the river upstream hmm there's a structure down there though Don't press the rigs, please. Okay, where are we now? Yeah, if we actually go that way. What's that map showing me then? Is that because the lake's there, right? Or is that the lake? That's the lake. So what's this thing? Hmm. Um, but that's where they were. What? Keep quiet now. Yeah, like that's the lake. Everything's good. Everything is peachy keen. So, yeah. Isn't that where I just was? Confused. where I just came from <laughs> or is this another damn thing okay. to go this way handy where I started. Uh, oh, there's a thing here. Turn to Singapore. May 2043. As the waters recede, the people return. A large pink tinted rock marks the summit of Bukit Timar Hill. Singapore's highest point at one time, six, 164 metres above sea level. Charmaine Lowe records herself hollow next to the rock, her bright smile contradicted by nervous fidgeting with her prismatic fake nails and 30 style subdermal jewellery. I thought I'd never see this place again. I still can't believe it's real, she marvels. 
proud Bukit Timor has stood firm against time and weather, but the rest of Singapore has fared less well. With approximately a third of the island nation at less than 5 metres meters above sea level, Singaporeans like Charmaine were forced to abandon their homes as inexorable waters leached away their foundations throughout the snoring twenties. Now the surviving members of Charmaine's family are returning alongside many others. As global temperatures and sea levels stabilise, people come by air or by water. Some seek refuge from the deleterious effects of the Sitaram River tragedy, whose costs still reverberate today. All hope to build new lives atop the collapse of the once stable and prosperous country. Singapore represents one of many states abandoned by their citizens in the aftermath of heavy coastal flooding. Questions surrounding ownership are difficult to answer. Government, government and law, official, law, law enforcement personnel fled far in advance of the country's devastation, and documentation of title is scattered at best. The plot of land on which Charmaine's childhood home once sat had belonged to the Lowe family for almost a bleh. So, I'm sure uh, I've heard that name before in one of the other texts. Um, okay, follow the river upstream. Well... Let's go here then. That's where it wants me to be. Uh, down here. Where am I going now? Okay, there's a river. Uh, use my proverbial nuts off here, but um, I'll follow it upstream. site apparently. Uh, Alright, there's a big building here. New building? Some kind of ruin anyway. Ugh. An animal carving. From long ago. A figurine. Oh. Montana. Two of seven in a commemorative set. It's copyright 2042 Montana Recreations. Nice. Uh, oh. Well, that's a dam, isn't it? Looks very dam like. Although, quite all I can do about it is another matter. Grey catch. Well, I'm good with that. Anything in here? Campfire over there. Thing. 
Oh, hey, look, auroras. Hang on. Uh, Okay. Could do that. <laughs> um. Any other interesting looking poses? Stunned amazement. <laughs> nice Aurora, though. Uh, right. Uh, what's that data point now? Missions Joyride. Uh, okay girl, you are never gonna guess what happened on my way home last night. First thing, I heard this sound like a herd of killer bees escaping out of a tin can. Then there was this weird light through the trees. I was totally hoping it was aliens, but nah, it was one of those blue spectrum LEDs. It looked super creepy on the snow. As we got closer, I heard some yahoo letting out this weird guttural man shriek as if he was doing some macho primal scream therapy you know with a, a thousand rpms between his legs said yahoo was no, none other than dodd blevins our new director of security or whatever his 20 dollar title is he was actually riding an old snowmobile they're like a thousand times more polluting than a combustion era car my expert professional opinion blevins is a grade a douche canoe I decided not to stick the security bot on his flabby rear. After all, he's pra practically our boss for the next two weeks. But Shells, you might want to take a bathroom break now because you're going to lose it when you find out what I did instead. I was standing right near one of the trail signs and I could tell Blevins was heading for me, so I reprogrammed the sign to swap directions between Fairy Falls and Purple Mountain. Wicked, right? You'd never get a snowmobile up there. I hope he bailed out hard and had to walk back to the lodge. Guess I'll be filing my very first incident report right before this whole thing shuts down forever. I could let it slide like usual, but then where's the fun, Shells? Where is the fun, L? <laughs> oh, the, the japes these kids get up to. Pretty sure Blevins probably didn't appreciate that, though. <laughs> Good. I can use this. Right. So we appear to have ourselves... A, uh, a ruin to explore. So I say, let's go explore it. Um, but I say, since it's two hours in, um, let us um, call it part one. Oops. Uh, uh, can I get a good view of her here? Um, let's call it end of part one. And uh, and then uh, once I take this picture at least. And then we'll... Uh, we'll see where we end up. Um, what would happen if I change the time of day? That makes this a little bit better. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, that's too dark. I guess the sun's at the wrong angle there. Um, I know it's kind of cheating, but why 
like that. I like that. That might be a screenshot for a uh, thumbnail. Um, all right, so. Uh, yeah, we're about two hours in here. So I am going to call this the end of part one. When I say now, and I can put a marker in there apparently. Uh, right, so. Um, end of part one is now.